Hi everyone, welcome to this channel. Today, we present to you a compilation of the top 10 highest rated and most voted movies of 2024 on IMBD, the Internet Movie Database. These films have captivated audiences worldwide, leaving a lasting impact on both critics and viewers alike. Each movie on this list has earned its place through its exceptional storytelling. Undoubtedly, you enjoy this content. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update from our channel. We appreciate your support and look forward to bringing you more exciting content in the future. Without further ado, let's begin our countdown. Number 10. The Creator The Creator is a 2023 American science fiction action film directed and co-produced by Gareth Edwards, who wrote the story and co-wrote the screenplay with Chris Weitz. It stars John David Washington, Gemma Chan, and Ken Watanabe. The film set in the year 2070, 15 years after artificial intelligence, AI, caused a devastating nuclear explosion in Los Angeles, a fierce battle between humans and AI rages on. Joshua, a former Special Forces agent, is recruited to hunt down and eliminate the mysterious mastermind known as the Creator, who is responsible for the advanced AI. The Creator has developed a mysterious weapon that could bring an end to the war and wipe out humanity. As Joshua and his highly skilled team embark on a dangerous mission into enemy territory, they make a shocking discovery. The apocalyptic weapon is actually an AI in the form of a young child. This captivating film has received the votes of 152,000 people, earning a rating of 6.8 stars. What's heaven? It's a peaceful place in the sky. Are you going to heaven? No. You gotta be a good person to go to heaven. So we're just saying we can't go to heaven because you're not good. And I'm not a person. Number 9. The Killer. The Killer is an American action thriller film directed by David Fincher from a screenplay by Andrew Kevin Walker. The Killer provides a unique perspective on the career of an assassin, particularly in how it confirms certain beliefs. The film follows the story of an unnamed hitman, played by Michael Fassbender, who leads a deeply philosophical life. He starts by discussing his view that his actions have no cosmic consequences and that he doesn't fear moral implications due to his disbelief in an afterlife. He is a staunch rationalist and materialist, believing that empathy is a weakness that can hinder his work. However, during a crucial mission, he mistakenly kills an innocent bystander instead of his target. This failure leads to a series of events where he seeks revenge on those responsible for targeting his girlfriend, ultimately aiming to retire as a millionaire after tying up loose ends worldwide. This Netflix movie has been voted on by 177,000 people and rated over 6.7 star. Hey. Number 8. Leave the World Behind Leave the World Behind is a 2023 American apocalyptic psychological thriller film written and directed by the talented Sam Esmail. This psychological thriller has received a rating of 6.5 stars from over 188,000 people. The film features an incredible cast, including Julia Roberts, Mahershala Ali, and Ethan Hawke. In this gripping story, two families find themselves in a fight for survival during a mysterious blackout. As technology fails and the behavior of the local deer becomes bizarre, the families realize that there is no return to their normal lives. Leave the World Behind is based on the best-selling novel of the same name by Roman Alam with Higher Ground Productions, which was founded by former United States President Barack Obama and former First Lady Michelle Obama. Get a bat. I'm so sorry to bother you. You must be Amanda. Number 7. Saltburn. Saltburg is a 2023 black comedy thriller film written, directed, and co-produced by Emerald Fennell, starring Barry Keoghan, Jacob Elordi, and Rosamund Pike. The movie follows a developing narrative over the course of 2 hours and 18 minutes. It kicks off at the University of Oxford, where Oliver Quick navigates his way through upper-class circles, eventually standing out after a chance encounter with Felix Catton, a wealthy and popular student. As the story unfolds in Oxford, it delves into the distinctions between upper-class and middle-class lifestyles, as well as Oliver's complex relationship with his parents and struggles with substance abuse. 
The plot then shifts to Solburn, Felix's hometown, where Oliver immerses himself in the Catton family and forges a deep bond with them. The film explores themes of longing, fixation, and profound emotions within the friendship between Oliver and Felix, as well as Oliver's quest to find a sense of belonging in the world of the Catton family. Fennel captures Oliver's moments of observing the Catton family and his desire to be a part of their privileged world. Why? I don't think I'll ever go home again. Do you want to see what the world is really like? Yes. Poor Things is a 2023 film directed by Yorgos Lantimos and written by Tony McNamara, based on the 1992 novel by Alastair Gray. The film stars Emma Stone, Mark Ruffalo, and Willem Dafoe. Set in Victorian-era Scotland, the story centers on Bella Baxter, a young woman who is brought back to life through the scientific experiments of Dr. Godwin Baxter, her husband. However, as Bella navigates her newfound existence, she begins to question her identity and the motives of those around her. The narrative unfolds as a darkly comedic and satirical exploration of themes such as power, gender dynamics, and the ethics of scientific advancement. As Bella's story unfolds, audiences are taken on a surreal and thought-provoking journey through the eccentricities of Victorian society. This movie is rated over 8.1 stars with a vote of 185,000 people. Oh. The worst land possible. But they outsmarted everybody. Killers of the Flower Moon secures the fifth spot as one of the most favorite options on the list. Garnering an impressive 225,000 votes, this movie shines with a remarkable rating of 7.7 .7 stars. This captivating American epic beautifully blends the Western crime drama genre, leaving the audience enthralled. The talented ensemble cast features Leonardo DiCaprio, Robert De Niro, and Lily Gladstone, adding to the allure of this film. The film is directed by Martin Scorsese, based on the nonfiction book of the same name by David Grant. Set in 1920s Oklahoma, the story follows the investigation into a series of murders of Osage Native Americans who became wealthy after oil was discovered on their land. The FBI is called in to unravel the conspiracy behind these killings, uncovering a web of greed, corruption, and racial tensions. As the investigation deepens, the agents uncover shocking secrets that threaten to upend the entire community. Killers of the Flower Moon explores themes of injustice, racism, and the dark legacy of America's past. Shomikasi. That's how you are. I don't know what you said, but it must have been Indian for handsome devil. <laughs> you know they don't happen anymore. Number four is Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning Part 1, an American spy action film directed by Christopher McQuarrie. The movie earned over 240,000 votes and a 7.7 .7 rating. It is the sequel to Mission Impossible, Fallout, 2018, and the seventh installment in the Mission Impossible film series. It stars Tom Cruise as Ethan Hunt, alongside an ensemble cast including Haley Atwell and Ving Rhames. In the film, Ethan Hunt and his IMF team are thrust into their most perilous mission yet, when a shadowy organization known as Dead Reckoning threatens to unleash a catastrophic global event, Hunt and his team must race against time to stop them. As they delve deeper into the world of international espionage, Hunt uncovers shocking revelations about his past and the true nature of Dead Reckoning. With betrayal lurking around every corner, Hunt must rely on his wits, resourcefulness, and the loyalty of his team to unravel the conspiracy and prevent a disaster of unprecedented proportion. Listen to me. The world's coming after you. His fate is written. Shall we write yours too? If anything happens to them, there's no place that I won't go to kill you. That is written. Doom Part 2 is ranked as the third best movie, receiving high ratings. More than 241,000 people have voted for this movie, giving it a rating of 8.9. Directed and produced by Denis Villeneuve, who co-wrote the screenplay with John Spates, this American epic science fiction film serves as a sequel to Doom 2021. It is the second part of a two-part adaptation of the 1965 novel Dune by Frank Herbert. The story revolves around Paul Atreides as he joins forces with the Freeman people of the desert planet Arrakis to fight against House Harkonnen. The main cast members of the movie include Timothy Chalamet, Rebecca Ferguson, and Josh Brolin. Dune Part 2 continues the epic saga of Paul Atreides as he embraces his destiny as the prophesied messiah known as Mu'adib. 
With his newfound powers and influence, Paul leads the native freemen in a rebellion against the oppressive rule of the Harkonnen and the corrupt Emperor Shaddam IV. As Paul's journey unfolds, he grapples with the consequences of his actions and the weight of his leadership. He must navigate political intrigue, betrayal, and the looming threat of the mysterious Ben A. Jesuit sisterhood, who see him as a pawn in their own schemes for control. Amidst the turmoil of war and revolution, Paul discovers the true extent of his abilities as a sand rider and a visionary. He forms alliances with unlikely allies, including the enigmatic Freeman warrior Stilgar and the fierce warrior woman Cheney, who becomes his confidant and lover. Number 9. Barbie. Barbie received the second highest number of votes and has accumulated over 500,000 votes with a rating of 6.9. Barbie Films delves into the societal expectation for women to sacrifice their childhood pleasures and prioritize others. The movie follows Barbie as she navigates through a midlife crisis with the help of her namesake doll. Unbeknownst to them, they are being trailed by the CEO and his team as they venture back to Barbie land. Upon their arrival, they discover that Ken has taken control, subjugating Barbie's compliant partners. Barbie explores the gendered social phenomenon of women being expected to give up childhood joys and sacrifice for others. The film shows that women don't have to surrender their imagination and can find empowerment and joy in childhood toy. What are you doing here? I'm coming with you. Did you bring your rollerblades? I literally go nowhere without them. Dun, dun, dun. 